Hello and welcome to day 12 of 30 Days of Doodles. Today we are doing some home entertainment doodles, so we're gonna start off with the TV. I have drawn this TV for forever now, and it's just one of my favorite doodles. So we're gonna start out with a rectangle, and it's gonna be a little bit longer than it is tall. And then the next step, we are going to round out our corner. So this is kind of a cartoony looking TV. You could also leave it very rectangular and very realistic in comparison to mine. So I just drew lines that kind of pulled in um, and then rounded out all my corners. And now I'm tracing over all of those with my black pen just so that I can really get the feel of that initial shape of my TV. Now we're gonna go back with our pencil and we're gonna create a smaller rectangle inside. Leave a little bit of room around the edges. This is supposed to be kind of an old school TV and we're gonna add some buttons at the bottom so you could do a mix of some circles and some rectangles. And then we're gonna add these diagonal rectangles coming out of the top. So two that are a little wider and then two right in the middle of that that are a little narrower with some dots on the top. And so that's our old school antenna and then those same opposing though diagonal feet on the bottom so now we'll just go through and outline all of this with our pen i'm again using the small faber castell for this but you could use any pen that suits your needs So the last step before we move on is going to be to pick up our finer tip pen and just add a couple details. So I like to add these diagonal lines right on the corner of the screen to give it a look that it's like glass. And then I just add a couple little dashes on the button to make it look more like a knob that you could turn. So we'll move on to the gaming controller. So again, this is kind of old school. Um, I'm gonna start with two circles that are spaced apart, maybe two or three boxes on dot grid paper. And then I'm going to draw this slight arch between the two of them at the bottom and then I'm going to create a line that goes all the way from the far left hand side of one circle all the way over to the right hand side of the farthest right circle and then I added some little rectangular push buttons to the top so now we're going to go through and outline this but you're not going to outline the whole circle you're only going to outline the basic outline of the controller. So as you can see, I didn't follow through with those entire circles. I left those out and we will erase those pencil marks. They were just there for guidelines to give us the shape of what our controller should look like. So now just to be safe so that we don't end up tracing over those on accident, I like to erase them and then we'll go back with our pencil and we'll draw a smaller circle inside. So these are gonna be like the D-pad and the buttons on the inside of the controller. So on this first one, I am then drawing a vertical rectangle and then a horizontal rectangle to create a cross and that would be your directional pad. And then on the right hand side, you'll have four circular buttons in kind of a triangular pattern and then two rectangles in the middle. So now let's go in and outline all of this. So I'm using the extra small pen for this just because these details are a bit smaller. So again, with this directional pad, we aren't gonna outline both rectangles. We are just outlining the outline of that cross area. And then I used my fine point pen to add some little arrows that point in each direction. So then I'm outlining these the last of the buttons and the last thing I wanna do is just create this depth effect on the bottom. So I'm just adding another outline just around the bottom to make it look like I'm giving it some depth and one final option here you don't have to do it is to add a cord to your gaming controller moving on to the chair this is one of my favorites to draw I always used to think furniture was really hard but once you break it down into basic shapes it isn't so the first thing I want you to do is start with some vertical rectangles. So we're gonna draw two of them and space them enough apart for where your cushion would be on your chair. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm going to angle these down and round out the corners. So I didn't start with them like this because I wanted them to be even on both sides and have the same angle. So when I draw that line down from the outermost upper corner, 
and I see where it ends at the bottom. It ends directly in the middle of that first rectangle we drew. So on the second one, I can make it very similar. So then I just erase those beginning lines because I didn't want to confuse myself. And then we're gonna draw two horizontal lines um, between those two diagonal and then add a rounded cushion and then add a rounded back on the chair and finally add two little rectangles to the bottom for the feet. So now we'll go in with our pen and we will outline all of the lines that we have in our doodle so far. So the last step is going to be to add some fine details in here. So I just like to add some tufting. So with that, I just draw four little circles that are at a diagonal on the back side of the chair and then add four diagonal lines coming out of each of those circles. And then I decided to add some to the armrest too. Um, you can kind of play around with the look of it to find what you like. All right, so you've just completed day 12, which means you've already done 36 doodles in this short time. So I hope you'll be back tomorrow for day 13. We have some really fun stuff coming with a potted plant, a lamp, and a wooden picture frame. I hope to see you tomorrow, and thanks for watching.